These volunteers are hard at work, donating hundreds of hours, saving Second Harvest of Silicon Valley countless dollars that would have otherwise gone to full-time employees. Over 50% of what we distribute is fresh fruits and vegetables, and that gets coupled with um, lean meats, milk, cheese, eggs, and some canned items, as well as staples like rice and beans. The amount of people they're helping now is 15% more than last year and nearly the same as it was two years ago. Shabana Gubi, the nonprofit's chief philanthropy officer, says that the government food donations and funding that helped get them through the worst of the pandemic have ended. Now they're trying to make up for that loss. Our donations are down 37% compared to two years ago and 17% compared to just last year. But the need is the same as two years ago, and we're getting out the same amount of food as we did during the pandemic. And like everyone else, inflation has also hit the food bank. Take a look at this photo. The left shows you what they were able to source with $25 in November of 2021. The right shows you what $25 gets them now. Still, they say monetary donations are most helpful. If you donate that $25 to us, we can stretch that really far because we are buying whatever we need to purchase in bulk quantities and pallet sizes so we can negotiate really great prices so you get more impact for your donation that way. The food bank is hoping to raise $25 million by the end of the month. A steep goal, but when they're hopeful, the community will help them reach. If everybody gives what they can, we can make sure everybody in our neighborhood has food. You can help by donating at shfb.org slash donate. In San Jose, Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News.